Welcome to this video. In this video, we will explain how to customize Abacus environment to enter parameters of a Python code. In our previous video, we learned how to model a unidirectional fiber composite by parameters. Now I can change the parameters and run this file again with different dimension. We can see the result that our depth is changed. Now we want to enter the value of the parameters in GUI. In our Python code, we can use two commands. I prepared this command and you can find them in Abacus documentation or description of this video. The first command, get input from Abacus GUI. A part is for the name of parameters and then a description for a hint and after that default value for the parameters. Since this command return a, a string parameter, we should change it to a real parameter by command float. After that, we do not need volume fraction from the code and this will be entered from the GUI directly. Now by running the Python script, we encounter with this box. This box gets input for variable volume fraction and here is the hint and the default value. We can change the default value to our desired value, for example 70%, and we can see that the volume fraction of the composite increase. In the next step, we want to enter all the parameters related to dimension from the GUI. We use these commands. These commands help us to enter several parameters in one box. We copy the commands here and in commands we can see that we have parameters width with its default value and hint, then parameters height and depth. Each parameter has its own description and default value and the name and label for the box, a title for the box and a label for the box and then we should change the parameters from a string to real parameters and we could delete the value from the code. Now we could go to GUI and run the script another time. At first the box for volume fraction is up here and then the new box for creating matrix. The name is create mat matrix and the label and then we have width with its hint and height and depth and their default value. We can change the default values. For example, I reduce the depths and by clicking OK, we can see our composite with different depths. You could customize the Abacus environment by this method. If this video helped you, please let us know by a comment, a subscribe, or a like. Thank you so much. See you in next video.